Hey there, and welcome back to Morning Rush. Major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether have seen a more than 10% decline over the last few days as investors fear more financial regulation is on the way. Members of Congress and regulatory agencies like the Securities and Exchange Commission have expressed that an unregulated crypto market could lead to widespread fraud, scams, and manipulation for consumers. Now, those fears were confirmed on Saturday when over $196 million in cryptocurrency was stolen from crypto exchange bit mart by hackers so what is driving the cryptocurrency sell-off and how can investors protect themselves yeah joining us now to discuss is the CEO of Devere group Nigel Green Nigel welcome back to the show nice to see you what is going on in the crypto market my friend there's always something to worry about, right? Now, this seems to be the way of the world, doesn't it, right now? There's always something. Can, never, never a blue sky. Uh, but uh, right now, there's regulation to worry about. So people are concerned that the regulators are going to perhaps over-regulate the crypto space. And as you just saw there on the news, some people would argue that they should uh, regulate and regulate firmly. But of course, that would cause some people to want to invest in a different direction. So regulations, one. Uh, but also, there's, there's something feeling of taxation may be an issue and some people want to uh, take some gains now before they're taxed at perhaps a higher rate next year. So how much of this drop that we're seeing is actually related to financial regulation and how much of it is just normal cryptocurrency instability? <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I think we can split down. I'll, I'll even go a third one there because there's been a market sell off as well. So you've got a confidence. So if you get a lack of confidence in investing, doesn't matter whether it's investing in the stock market or crypto, just crypto is more extreme. So you see it as a larger percentage. If that's going up, they're super excited. If it's going down, people get scared, uh, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You get even more selling happening. So a regulation, you've got market sentiment and you've also got taxation. So, Nigel, when you look at the Dow, the Nasdaq, and the S&P, it's been pretty linear over the last 20, 30 years. When you look at Bitcoin, for example, the biggest crypto, just in the last year, started at 19,000, yeah. up to 63,000, cut in half to 29, <laughs> back up to 67, and now we're hovering around 50,000. Yeah. This is some volatility you don't see with any other investment today. Is it just something you need to deal with in this space? I think ultimately it does level out. But, but you're right, you have to. If you're going to be investing in cryptocurrency, 100% you've got to be expecting some volatility. I think that volatility will juice over a period of time. But if something drops by 20% in the crypto space, that's not really a drop. People say, well, you know, come on, it's already done 100% this year. Why are you worried about a 20% drop? Uh, well, if you invested on the day when it was at its peak, you're worried about a 20% drop. So it's not for everybody. It's for people that want to speculate or perhaps just put a small percentage of their savings in. And I would say, if you're going to go into crypto, put it as a small percentage or a percentage, not all of your investment. So if you do own crypto, then what should that person do? I mean, should they be scared or worried? No, I think if you go in knowing there's going to be volatility and then you're a long-term investor, then I think you'll make money in cryptocurrency. Let's take Bitcoin. It'll be 100000 at some point in the future. When is that point? It's going to be a rocky road on the way through. Will it be this year? Unlikely. But some people think it will be by the middle of next year. So imagine you could make 100%, but in the meantime, you're going to get some 20% rises and some maybe 30% falls. If that worries you, stop your sleeping at night, don't invest in cryptocurrency. <laughs> if you're relaxed, go for it. <laughs> Buckle up, well, I If way. you're telling me it's going to 100, man, I yeah. want in on that. Okay, so the House Financial Services Committee is holding a hearing with top crypto execs. What do we expect from that and how might it impact the market? I think that you're going to see regulations are going to be coming in um, for sure. So that means that crypto exchanges in America, so Coinbase is the biggest, is going to have regulation. So that's going to concern some people and perhaps those people, uh, people that have money for the wrong reasons. Some people say they just don't want everybody knowing about it. Uh, reality is regulations is there one way or the other as an asset class. It's going to have some form of regulation, 100%. Glensler has made it super clear. SEC have said it's going to be regulated. You can't expect something like this that trillions are being invested into globally isn't regulated.
All right, CEO of DeVere Group, Nigel Green, thank you so much for joining us this morning again. Good to see you. Pleasure. Thank you.